welcome and uh, good evening in this video i'll explain how to regress panel data models in stata and uh, i'll compare uh, two types of uh, regression models using panel data that is fixed defects and uh, random effects model and uh, finally at the end of uh, this video i'll uh, i'll uh, use the hausman test whether fixed effects or random effects model is uh, better so let me start with some introductory remarks in panel data individuals that include persons firms cities countries and so on are observed at several points in time including days years weeks months before and after treatment etc in this video i'll uh, introduce two basic models for the analysis of panel data that is the fixed effects model and the random effects model and uh, will present consistent estimators for these two models the video does not cover the so called dynamic panel models which will be discussed later on panel data are uh, most useful when we suspect that the outcome variable depends on explained variables which are not observable but correlated with the observed explanatory variables now what is the form of uh, panel uh, data regression models consider the following multiple linear regression model for uh, individual i where 1 is equal to n who is observed at several time periods t that varies from 1 through capital t so panel data takes form like this where y i t is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x i t plus a i plus u i t and uh, in panel data we have a composite error term which has two parts that is the a i where a i is the time invariant component and it also denotes individual specific effects the second component of this composite error term is uit which is an ido syncretic error term now the question is how can we estimate panel data regression models uh, we will be comparing as i mentioned earlier fixed effects versus random effects models and uh, i'll also use hausman test of fixed uh, versus random effect model so for this purpose i'll use uh, some hypothetical data that i just uh, downloaded from the net and uh, it has large number of observations um, first of all i would uh, ask uh, stata to set my data as panel by id and uh, year so here it shows that uh, delta is a uh, one unit then i will uh, ask the stata to describe the data for me this is the description of the data and after that i will check the summary of the data and uh, these are uh, the various uh, descriptive statistics the total number of observations are 1290 these are the mean values these are the standard deviation these are the minimum and uh, the max maximum values uh, now i will uh, browse some data here uh, by id year and uh, natural log of age and uh, this is id these are the years and uh, the third column shows natural log of age so there are about uh, 1200 1290 observations in this uh, um, data after that uh, i would like to summarize this data now these are the mean standard deviation minimum and maximum values of the three variables 
and after that uh, I will uh, browse some other data and uh, I have already checked uh, that was not a panel balance panel so I asked the stata to drop those uh, observation in which uh, the number of uh, um, cross section is less than 15. So it means that all cross section must be observed across all time periods. So if I do this, uh, it shows that uh, zero observations were deleted because previously uh, I set this data by giving this command. Now I will check uh, the count now and uh, these are the uh, data. After this I will regress, I will use uh, the usual multiple regression of uh, natural log of age on age and uh, age square, total work experience, tenure in the job, black that is uh, the color that is black versus white. This dummy variable tax value 1 for black and uh, 0 for other than black. So these are uh, the F statistic 70, P value of F statistic, these are the coefficients, these are the standard errors and uh, if you look at these T values, these are all significant at 5 percent. So this gives us a very good picture of uh, this model, uh, but since I am using panel data, I have just, th this is pool regression, I have just uh, combined all cross section and uh, time series data. Uh, since uh, uh, panel data have some special characteristics, so instead of this regression, uh, let me first uh, okay. So now I will give this command to the stata xt right, and xt is the command of regression for uh, panel data. And uh, at the end of the variable black, I use comma and then FE, FE stands for fixed effects. So this is the estimation of uh, the fixed effect model and these are the uh, coefficients of the fixed effects of these variables. These are the, but here you see uh, this black, this dummy variable was omitted because this black was omitted because it has high, high collinearity with some uh, independent variables. So stata automatically dropped this variable and after this I will estimate this, uh, um, store these estimates so that later later on I can compare this with the fixed, uh, with the random effect model. So these are stored, now I will uh, use another regression for the random effect. Now this model shows the coefficients of the random effects of these uh, variables. So again, uh, this is the wild chi-square value, this is its p-value, total number of observations are uh, 1276 and uh, these are the various coefficients, these are the r-squared within, between and uh, the overall and again uh, I will also uh, store the estimates of the random, eff the random effect model and uh, now these have stored. Now I will use the Hausman fixed test and the Hausman fixed effect uh, basically is a test that compares the coefficient of both the fixed effect model and the random effect model and then it gives us the difference between the uh, coefficients of the fix fixed effect model and the coefficients of the random effect model and uh, it uh, test the null hypothesis that there is no systematic difference between the coefficients of the fixed effect model and the random effect model and uh, then it gives its uh, p value and on the basis of p value we either uh, fail to reject null hypothesis or we reject null hypothesis. So let me show the results of the Hausman fixed, uh, Hausman test and here are the results. Now in this table you see 
these are the variables that were taken into account by the stata that is h square of h total work experience and uh, tenure on job now these are the coefficients of the fixed effect models and these are the coefficients of the random effect model and uh, this column shows the difference between the fixed effect coefficients and the random coefficient uh, coef effects coefficient models and uh, in this column b means that consistent under h naught and uh, alternative hypothesis obtained from um, panel regression and uh, this capital b means inconsistent under uh, alternative hypothesis but efficient under uh, alternative hypothesis uh, uh, obtained from um, the uh, panel data regression command and uh, Hausman test uh, basically uh, test this null hypothesis that difference in coefficients is not systematic that is there is no difference between the coefficients of the explanatory variables under fixed effect model and the coefficients uh, of the random effect model and uh, its uh, chi square value is uh, 7.71 .71 and uh, its uh, p value the p value of the chi square uh, statistic is uh, 0 0.102 so since this uh, p value is less than 0 0.05 so we fail to reject this null hypothesis and uh, uh, we can conclude that there is uh, no difference between the uh, coefficients of the fixed effect model and coefficients of the random effect model so we stay with the random effect model and uh, we conclude that uh, random effect model is better in this uh, context i hope uh, this was uh, quite interesting for you if you have any question you can uh, ask me question in your comments below this model if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel kindly do subscribe and uh, do not forget to Click on the bell icon so that you can get notification about my other videos. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for uh, watching this video.